It's Thursday, August 25th, a rainy day here in Seoul. Welcome to Korea Now, and these are your daily headlines. South Korea and China had joint ceremonies Wednesday to commemorate the 30th anniversary of their diplomatic ties. The events were held simultaneously via video links in their own capital cities, with South Korean Foreign Minister Park Jin and his counterpart Wang Yi in attendance. They read out congratulatory messages of President Yoon suk yeol and President Xi Jinping. Yoon expressed hope for a face-to-face -face meeting with Xi as Xi agreed to strengthen strategic communication, saying the two countries should become good neighbors, friends, and partners. North Korea reported four new fever cases in the northeastern province of Yangang just two weeks after it claimed victory over COVID-19. According to KCNA, four fever cases suspected of being infected with malignant epidemic occurred on August 23rd, as health authorities immediately locked down the area. The infections came just about two weeks after North Korean leader Kim Jong-un declared victory over COVID-19 and ordered the lifting of anti-epidemic measures. Samsung Electronics Vice Chairman Lee Jae-yong made a visit to the Global Engineering Center in eastern Seoul Wednesday and met with the employees. Lee's field inspection came just five days after he attended the groundbreaking ceremony for the R&D complex in Kihung on the 19th, which was his first official activity after being pardoned by President Yoon last week. In a meeting with the executives, Lee discussed plans for the company's overseas engineering projects, global industry techniques, eco-friendly business strategies, and more. Lee also had a lunch in the cafeteria and visited the daycare center to motivate childcare instructors. Those are your top stories for today. For full-length articles, you can always check out our official website linked down below. And don't forget to subscribe to Korea Now for more daily updates.